Hey, Marcus, holy cow. Somebody just popped into the chat here. <laughs> oh, wait, I'm renaming myself. <laughs> <laughs> it's Ken Williams, everybody. Holy cow. Ken, it's Hi. awesome to see you. Joining you from outer space. <laughs> Marcus was just talking about how he... We didn't even start the game yet. Marcus was just talking about how he met you, how you guys got started working on the game. And uh, the people in the chat are very excited that you see, to see you show up. Somebody just said, Ken is here. And uh, well, we, we, got, we got a bunch of people here right now interacting, so it's pretty cool. Well, Welcome. I to see why, uh, why Marcus is chatting instead of working. <laughs> we ship at a game here. What's going on? <laughs> no. That's we gotta have a little fun sometimes, Ken. You know, oh. I can't, can't always be working away. That's no, legendary like Ken Williams' uh, work ethic, right? So this this game, the Space Quest, as, you, as people know, had this Easter egg that Scott and Mark and Scott put in. If you type in Ken, oh. Ken comes and complains. <laughs> you want Ken? Can you read that? Are you able to see the screen or? <laughs> what? Oh, there it is. I see. Uh, I see. Um... Yeah, it says it's shipping yet. I want this thing shipping yesterday. That's funny. I thought you said the graphics would be done last week. So that is uh, that is very me. That was my famous line. I used to always go in and ask everybody, "Is it shipping yet, and why not?" <laughs> so, so if nothing uh, else, folks, got we got to hear. We got to hear Ken actually read that line and speak it live. Some, somebody record that. We'll put it in the voice acting version of Space Quest when it comes out. <laughs> Ken, Ken, we don't have the code ready, and you are the programmer. Oh, I know. It's not fair. I like the old days better where I could uh, just bitch and everybody else. So, so Ken, since you're here, um, I think one question that a lot of people have is why are you making a new game? Like, what inspired you all of a sudden to start doing this? And before people were asking Marcus how he got involved, but w what made you decide to do this? Um, stupidity? For lack of a better word. No, I don't know. I, I, I just like to code. I like, you know, you got to stay busy. You can't just sit around and let your brain rot. So, um, can Scott McAfee wants to know, are there any other Sierra folks involved with the game, like Allo or anybody else like that, aside from you, Roberta? Uh, nope. Nope. It's, um, yeah, I, I've, um, I assume once we get uh, anywhere near beta test that you know, Al Lowe and probably other XCR people will want to be uh, play testing. So, um, yeah, I, well, and I, I saw you know on the, on the beta tester sign up a lot of Sierra names I recognized, but uh, no, it's really just the two of us, and um, and that's it. Yeah, I, I, I saw Al Lowe today, and I was talking to him about the game and uh, trying to lure him into um, <laughs> greater participation, but he's pretty happily retired, so. We should yeah. just get him to do the music or something. That's like his true passion, right? I mean. Yeah, I, yeah actually, if I asked him to do some music, he uh, he certainly would. I think we could tell them that it's a 3D game, that it's a. We can say that, yeah, <laughs> definitely 3D. That, um, yeah, and, I, and, and, we, and we can admit that it's an adventure game and that it's a 3D adventure, and I've seen a lot of 2D and 2.5D adventures, but not that many 3D. And uh, 3D is tough. It's, um, you know, hats off to Marcus. It's tough to work in 3D. And for me, it was, you know, another kind of excitement because at uh, Sierra, I never got to really work on any of the 3D games. You know, those were all done at Down Dynamics. And uh, we really didn't work in 3D until King's Quest VIII when uh, they worked on it. And then it was quite a struggle. So, Well, I think people, a lot of... People are concerned that it's going to be like King's Quest VIII. <laughs> and I'm trying to tell them it's really not. I, yeah, I think pe a lot of people are probably really super excited to hear it's going to be an adventure. And then like, they're like, are you really... Is it really an adventure? You're not tricking us? Promise it's really an adventure? Not going to be like a you know, fighting game or something like that or a shooting game? No. <laughs> That, uh, I mean, there were some shooting games that I liked. Yeah, we see you guys a lot of good games. But nope, nope, this good old-fashioned adventure. That's what, uh, yeah, that's what I think people kind of want right now. It's, uh, but it's different, you know, something different in the market. And, and we so could too. try to make it a VR game as well, like playable in VR. We're going to test it out and see if it works. Yeah, theoretically, Unity is not too hard to get to uh, Oculus and do 3, 3D. At this point, I just don't even want to think about that. I want to get the game running, yeah, sorry. start playing, get, uh, and then we start putting on the bells and whistles. So I think we're going to get a lot more. We can also confirm it's going to be a, 
uh -huh. big box version of the game as well. It's definitely going to have a box version, yeah. a physical version of the game, old school I style. Yeah, Marcus talked me into it. Somebody asked a, another good question. Hello, Katie123. Where can we follow the progress and buy the game? Is there a mailing list they can sign off for, or a, a pre order, or something like that? Or just wait for more details? Yeah, I, I mean, watch the site, uh, kensgame.com, and we'll post info there. And I, you know, I, I, I'm even thinking of doing a blog there to kind of talk about the technology and stuff we're doing. And, but certainly we'll talk first about what we're working on and show screenshots. And so I'd say just watch kensgame.com and um, definitely register. I think for the next month, I won't post a whole lot. But once, um, once we get kind of past this first hurdle of having a fully playable game, then I'll have a little more free time to uh, post up there. That's amazing. And, and someone just said, I'm going to kensgame.com because Ken sent me. I think it's pretty clever. Actually, I think it says Ken sent me right on the front page. I can't believe it. It's funny. I, I, I saw somebody one day wearing a T-shirt that said Ken sent me. And then I went to uh, Amazon or on Google, and I Googled Ken sent me. It's all over the place. There are really a lot of T-shirts out there that say that. And that's a uh, aloe picking on me <laughs> a pun from 40 years ago. And somehow it survived.